Hey guys, it's Jen from MyCrayCrafts. In today's video, I will be showing you step by step how to create Christmas glitter ornaments from start to finish. There will be three parts to this video. Creating the glitter ornaments, creating a decal, and putting the decal on the ornaments. I hope you enjoy, so let's get started. All right guys, so to start doing these glitter ornaments, you're gonna need a few things. Obviously you're gonna need to start with glitter. I have several different colors here that I bought from uh, Walmart. And you're gonna need this polycrylic. And I recommend this water-based one. It's kind of a blue color to it, bluish greenish color to it. And um, let's see, I love to use these, I don't know what you wanna call them, condiment containers. I actually filled mine up with my poly, so when I put it into my ornament, I could just easily pour it in. Otherwise, if you don't have that, you can always use like a funnel for this if you want, but it just makes it a little bit easier. You're going to need some cups to uh, be able to empty your poly into. And also, I just wanted to show you these. These are kind of smaller. I live on a homestead, so I have animals here, and sometimes they need medicine. So I have these uh, on hand, but if you don't have this or if you don't have a uh, funnel, you can always use these. You can pick them up at like any pet store or anything like that if you have like a tractor supply or anything. But this would easily work too. You can just fill it up with your poly and spray it in and... You don't have to waste a lot that way. So I just wanted to show you these. And then I also have some alcohol prep pads here. Um, I use these for the outside. When I want to put the design on the outside, I like to wash it first really quick with that. So that is the supplies you're going to need. I just wanted to show you really quick. I bought these ornaments. I think I have like six packages of these that I bought last year from Goodwill for 99 cents. Um, and it could even have been pink color, I don't know, but even 99 cents for four of them, 25 cents a piece, great price. And then my mom picked these up for me last year. I think they came from Home Depot or Lowe's. She bought me a ton of them. They came out to actually 50 cents for the box. So I always buy the year uh, prior to next year. So I bought these last year. My mom, my mom bought me these last year. And then I also bought these last year at Christmas time. And then I also wanted to show you these little guys. These are really cool. I'm going to be doing another project with these uh, called the Friendship Light. Uh, I'll show you another video uh, doing this. So hit that subscribe button if you're not already. And I'll show you how to do these and to use your Cricut and to cut out the words and stuff for it. And it's really cute. And I also bought some stuff off of Hobby Lobby. I'll have to show you that too. But uh, any ornaments you want to use, I have really big ones that I have medium ones and then smaller ones. Some of them are glass, some of them are plastic, but either way, just want to show you, but these are cool. I bought them off Amazon. So the first thing you want to do is just open your containers and just carefully do it. You can use whatever you want, how many ever you want. I like these because it already has a little bow on it. Kind of saves you a little bit of time, but I just take them all off. And then you're going to want to start with your poly. So obviously you can't clean the inside. So I just take my poly, like I said, it comes really easy with, in this container. Pull the lid off. Squirt some in here. And it doesn't matter how much you put in here because you're going to dump it all back anyway. So you don't want to mix it. You just want to gradually turn it so you get every side. And you want to go all the way to the top. But I'm just going slow. I'm getting more than one coat on, so I'm just kind of going back and forth, but you do not want bubbles in here. So I'm just sliding it until I get more to the top, and then that's when your cups will come in handy. Then you just want to take one of your cups. You could use a smaller cup for this one, but this is what I have on hand. So you're just going to take your cup and then just keep swirling until it comes out. But you want to make sure you get all this too. So you want to just keep turning until you get every little spot. If you think you miss anything, you can always just go in and fill in a little bit more here. But you want to make sure you get everywhere. And then once you get it, you just want to flip it over. Like I said, this poly is not going to go to waste. So you're just going to put it in here. Unfortunately, I don't have a smaller cup, so I need to be careful at the top here. But I'm just going to let this sit there upside down and I'm just gonna work with the next one so I have the next one here I'm just gonna do the same thing squirt some in here I love this bottle came off Amazon if I didn't say 
And same thing, just swirl it. Don't shake it. Just take your time. Make sure you get everywhere. If you gotta add more to it, that's okay. Add some more. There's no right or wrong. Not really, I can't even say, okay, I need a tablespoon of this, because you don't know. But you just keep going. And you make sure you get it all over. You can see if you miss any spots. And you just take another cup, and then just gradually, you guys can see it's not here. So if you just gradually go, and then just keep turning, wish I can show you this better. Just keep turning until it slides out the top. But you want to make sure that you get all of the top spot too. And then again, just let it leak. And like that for about five to 10 minutes, I would say until all the poly's out, you want it a little bit tacky yet. So I'm just going to keep going with all of these all right guys, so I let my bulbs uh, sit and dry so that all the poly is out. And whatever you have left in here, you're gonna wanna save. So I'm just gonna put that back into my bottle. So I'm just gonna do that with each one of these cups really quick. I'm just putting it right back in here. And if you want, you can wash these cups out and just reuse them if you want, um, which is what I like to do. But I like to save everything that I can. So I just have them, like I said, I let all the poly come out. You might have some of this on the edge, if you can see this which is okay because it's just the outside. If it's the inside, then I'd be worried about it, but it's the outside, so I don't really worry about that too much. So I'm just gonna take them and then dump the extra back into whatever container that you were using. But then the next part is the fun part. So this next part, you put your glitter in, but you have to think about what colors you're gonna be using and what fonts or what decals you're gonna be putting onto them. Um, I know I'm going to be doing some frosty ones. I'm going to be doing some Grinch ones. Sally and Jack from the Christmas Nightmare, so a um, couple different colors there. So I'm gonna start with this blue one here. I think with the blue in here, I'm gonna be using one that says, uh, let it snow. So if you have them where they have an opening in them, you can open them like that. But honestly, I just like taking the cover off and using a piece of paper or something underneath that you can catch all of the um, glitter. But if you have a funnel here, here would be a good time to use the funnel as well. But I'm just pouring some in and then it's the same process as putting the poly in. That you're just gonna wanna twist it and I like to go over it several times in case it missed anywhere. And then just kind of just keep twisting it. I wish you guys could see the angle, maybe this way, um, of making sure that you get all of it. And if you need to add more glitter, you can definitely add some more, but you wanna make sure you fill in everywhere. And with this, um, you can shake this and get it all over, you know, however you want, now that the poly's, you know, set inside of it. So you're not gonna make anything messy neighbor. You want to make sure you fill everywhere. You do not want to see any white spots or any clear spots. So I'm just going to do the same thing as with the poly and I'm just going to keep turning until it comes out onto my paper. And that's where the paper comes in handy as you won't waste anything. And then once you get it out, just give it a good tap and a couple turns and you should get whatever leftover you have in here. You don't want to waste any but you wanna give it a really good coverage. And then you're gonna to wanna to let these sit too. I don't know, I like mine to sit overnight um, before I stick the top part back in so that it all dries in here and you won't take off any of that glitter. So um, this one turned out perfect. I love the blue, that's very pretty. So I'm just gonna wash the outside before I put my decal on it, but I'm gonna show you what that blue looked like. So I'm just gonna take it and that's where your paper comes in handy. And then you can just put your glitter right back into your container and then just work on the next one. So I'm gonna work with one of these little light bulbs. And unfortunately my cup was a little big for it, so I'm just gonna hit it to get the rest of the poly from the bottom off. And you see you have a lot of poly left over. So I'm just gonna save that. So, whoops, kind of fell over there. And then I'm just gonna go with the next one. So this one, I think I'm gonna try this red color. So I'm just gonna take the cover off and just pour it in here. Oh, I like this one. The red is pretty. And these are for the friendship ones. I will do a separate video on this, how I do this and where I get my friendship thing from. Um, I'm going to be cutting it out of cardstock and I found it in design space. Um, so I will be doing a video on that. I love how they turn out. They're actually so cute. It's great as a gift. You can put it on your tree. 
um, but they turn out really awesome. So I'll be doing a video on that, so be sure to subscribe if you're not already, so stay tuned for that one. You don't want to miss it, but if you just look it up on Pinterest, it's just called Friendship Light. Um, it's like a Christmas ornament like this, and then you have some really pretty paper that goes with it, and a special cutout and a saying for it. So again, I'm just tapping it to get whatever else I can get out of here. I don't want all this sitting in here. But look at how that turned out. Complete full coverage. There's nowhere on here that doesn't have anywhere missing, so that's perfect. You want to make sure the poly is dry, so it's just tacky to the touch on the inside. Obviously, you don't want to touch it on the inside, but that's what you want. I let them sit for about 15-20 minutes, and then I came back. So that is it. Isn't that awesome? So again, your paper comes in really handy. Put it back in your jar, and then you can just work on the next one. So. I'm going to take one of these really big guys. Wow, this one's huge. And let's see, maybe I'll do him a Grinch. So I'm just going to take this green color. And then I'm going to add it in. I'm trying to put more than I know I'm going to need in here. But this is the fun part. It's kind of shaking it around. Make sure you get full coverage everywhere. Let's kind of twist it. Oh, this is pretty. You know, I live in Wisconsin, so this could be like a Green Bay Packer bulb, too. An ornament. Because this green has a little bit of yellow in it, too, I can see, which is kind of neat. So it could be like a Green Bay Packer thing. I'm not a Packer fan. Sorry, family is watching this. <laughs> but maybe you guys, can, maybe you can get one for Christmas. I'll make you a Green Bay Packer <laughs> uh, ornament. But again, just doing the same thing. Just tapping it out. But I mean, the possibilities with these ornaments are endless. You can make whatever you want. Um, the next part that I'm going to be doing is I'm going to take these bulbs and I'm going to write down the sizes of them. Get the dimensions of these because they are all different. This one is obviously smaller. And then I did these little round ones here. They're flat, but they're wider on the surface. And then, of course, I have these little friendship bulbs. So I'm going to go back and uh, check the sizes of these, get the dimensions. I don't want to leave them below in case my dimensions do not fit yours. So I, what I do is just I take my green mat and I kind of hold it up to here and I get like an estimate of how big I want to do it. So the next part, after I finish all the rest of them that I have here, I'm going to go on the computer and I'll show you how to do it. But I'm going to print out a whole bunch of scenes and faces and... Um, just the fun part with that. So this was the glitter portion of this. I'm going to finish these up and then I will set up by my computer and I will show you how to uh, get decals from like Google or Pinterest. I buy a lot of mine from designbundles.net. I'll leave all the links below for them, but I'm going to show you that next when I'm finished with all of these. Okay guys, so while my ornaments are drying, I'm going to be cutting these out. So I found all of these uh, files on either Design Bundles or I bought off of Etsy. I will leave the link below for Design Bundles. Um, some of them you can even find online and just kind of clean them up yourself. Like these guys, I found them online, they were free. But when I found this one, she did not have... Um, the white eyes behind so I kind of had to contour this and make this white behind it so I would have the white eyes behind it and then also for the lips too um, they didn't they were just black so I had to contour it and make them red so you do have to do a little work if you uh, find it yourself and um, clean it up in design space so that's what I did with that one and then with this one it was just black and I ungrouped it and I just changed the colors of it and I um, attached everything that was the same color so when it cuts out it'll just be one piece and I don't have to try to figure out where it goes. Um, same with these guys. These are separate pieces with the different colors. He does have white eyes but it's on the back. Um, it's behind the blue so just so you know he does have the little eyeballs here <laughs> that go with it. Um, so the only thing that I have to do is just resize these and I do have three different sizes or three different bulbs that I'm going to be using or Christmas ornaments. Um, so depending on what size you are going to be using, um, I just use a mat and I just put my, my ornament in front of it and kind of gauge on how big it should be. There's really no right or wrong. You can make it larger or smaller, whatever you want. So the only thing that I have to do for this is just resize these really quick and then cut them out with the vinyl that I'm going to be using. Um, 
trying to think if there's anything else that I can tell you about this part. Um, you can use anything. I'm sure I'm going to be using more in different um, designs, but I just wanted to show you these. I love these for Christmas time. It's my brother's favorite uh, Christmas story, <laughs> um, Christmas movie. Um, and then the Grinch, he's kind of cool. Same thing with him. He, his eyes are different. Uh, so when you cut it out, if you do a Grinch, you will have to cut out the, the yellow or the greenish here color separately. So I'm just going to resize this really quick. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'm happy to help you with anything. I'm just trying to run through this really quick. So with, uh, Jack here with his face, um, it's pretty simple. It's just all black. So I don't have to do anything with this, but I know that I want these two guys. He's going to be on a white glitter uh, ornament and she is going to be on a blue one. So it's my larger one. So it's about a three by three. So I'll just show you really quick how to do that. I'm sure you know how to do it, but just in case I have them selected, I'm going to go up to the unlock box up here and then just change it to a three by three. And then the same thing with her, because she is different pieces, you want to make sure you select all of it and then go up to the unlock box and change it to be a three by three as well. And like I said, whatever size your ornament is. So those are the way I want them. This guy, I think I want it to be a three by three too. So I'm just going to change that. Um, but again, self-explanatory how you have to do it, but I'm just going to finish this up quick, uh, resize them. I'll put my vinyl onto my mat. I'm just using a green mat. I actually just purchased this when they had the Amazon Prime Day. I hope you guys follow me because I let you know that there was a really great deal with this going on right now. Actually, right now as we speak, there is a really great design bundles going on where you can buy a bundles of fonts or designs for a dollar each. I actually just spent a couple dollars myself and purchased some Christmas ones. I'll leave the link below. I'm sure by the time you watch this video, it'll be passed. But if you just go to the link below at designbundles.net, you can sign up for it and know when each one of these uh, bundles will be on sale. So it's something you don't want to miss. So that's just another thing. I'll leave that down below too. But going back to this, I'm just going to change this one to a three by three. And my other ones are about a two and a half by two and a half. So again, it depends on what size you want to do. So I'm going to finish this up. I'll cut it out and I'll weed it out. And then I'll show you the next step of putting it onto your ornament. I do have a tip for you for when you're putting it on a round surface. So stay tuned for that. I will be right back. All right, guys. So I'm finished with my decals. I had cut them out. I put this one together already. And I'm going to show you how to do the snowman. So this is Frosty. So I got his eye, his face is mostly his face here. And then I have his eyes here. So there's a bunch of parts of Frosty here. So I figured I would show you how to do that. So I'm going to be working with this nice flat surface here. I like these instead of these round ones. These are a little bit harder, but I'm going to put the Grinch face on this one. But I'm going to show you how to do these Frosty ones really quick. So you want to make sure your, your surface is dry. But before you do that, I like to go in and clean it with alcohol. And I just have these little alcohol prep pads. It just makes it a little bit easier. So I'm just going to wash it really quick get away any fingerprints or smudges and any glitter that might be on here. So I'm just going to take that one and I'm going to do this one as well. But you want to make sure they're completely dry. So this is the first part I do. So when I do the decal, I will let these dry. Get this out of the way. So this one is finished for now. So I'm going to show you how to do the frosty guy. So here, whoops, here is the basic face. And then you need to add on the stuff. So I need to add on the nose. So I know you can do things with the parchment paper, but I like to just do this myself. So I'm just gonna take the nose and go ahead and place him on here. And then the next part to do is the blue eye background, actually the white background. So you see here, I'm gonna put the eyes on next. So when I cut these out, I cut them out so that they would be uh, perfectly the way that they're supposed to. So I'm just gonna take a piece of transfer tape which I bought this huge roll off Amazon. I'll leave the link below in case you're interested, but I just use uh, leftover whenever I can. So I have this piece, I'm just gonna take it and scrape on my decal and then just pull back. So I'm gonna take it and line them up. So you wanna see a little bit of the black behind it. So I'm just trying to line it up it looks kind of crazy now, but you gotta keep layering, layering it. So there is the white. Make sure that sticks really well. 
save my transfer tape. Then the next part is the blue. So I have the blue here and I did the same thing. I cut it out exactly how it's supposed to be so I don't have to guess on where to put it. So I'm just gonna take my transfer tape again, put it on, give it a good scrape, peel back. I like to work upside down here. Peel backwards and then, oops, got a little bit of green here. Line him up as well. So I think it goes like this, yes. So line him up. And the thing with doing things by hand, it's never perfect, which is why I love making things homemade and handmade. So there are his blue eyes. And the next part I want to do is the black. So I have the black here too. So I'm going to do the same thing. Just put it on my transfer tape. Pull it off. And then line it up as well. Let me see which way these go. Perfect. Give him a good scrape. The eye is a really good scrape. And then the last part is these cute little eye, these little white eyes. So again, I'm going to put it on my transfer tape, give it a good scrape, and then there are the two little dots for his eyes. So those go right there. See how I love how it comes to life. Now you can see it. Perfect. Look at that, how cute he is. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I'm gonna use the same piece of transfer tape and I'm just gonna put it right on top. Give it a really good scrape to make sure everything sticks to the transfer tape. And then just peel it back. Again, I like to work backwards. Make sure everything comes off. Oops. Perfect. And by now your ornament should be dry. So I'm just gonna take it, I'm trying to find the center piece. I'm lining his eyes up with the top. And then just go ahead and push it down. Now if this was a curved surface, I would take my scissors and cut pieces right here. So just for this part, I'm gonna cut little slits in here and it makes it just easier to push down on here and to make sure it stays flat. And if you get a piece that doesn't want to stick properly, I just take my little weeder here, and just lift it up a little bit, whoops, and then I can lay it down properly. There. Perfect. So I'm just going really slow to make sure everything stays on. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so cute. I made a bunch of these last year, but I never used this flat ornament before and I gotta say it is so much easier to use this than one of these so if you're gonna buy ornaments I recommend buying these these are plastic ones I bought these off of Amazon I'll leave the link below but that is so cute so now I have to do the same thing with her I already layered her so I'm just gonna do the same thing I'm gonna take the same piece of transfer tape if it will fit scrape it on really well and then peel back. And this one I did cut slits into already. So you gotta be careful. But I like to reuse my transfer tape whenever I can. So there's that one. Isn't she beautiful? Okay, so then again, it's clean, it's dry, and what I'm gonna do is just put it directly in the middle. And just push down. And it's, oh my gosh. This is so much easier than those round ornaments. I swear, next year, I'm never gonna buy round ornaments again. I like these flat ones. They are so much easier to work with. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, so that is on. I'm just gonna slowly peel back the transfer tape. And there she is, she is coming alive. Look at how beautiful that is. And because your glitter is on the inside, nothing is gonna fall out so that's why i love doing the glitter on the inside so there is she is and there he is so the last part to do is put your top part on so i'm gonna make sure 
So it's a little squished here. Pull that out a little bit. So the way that I do it is I just push these little prongs in as far as I possibly can. Kind of difficult to do without squishing the top. Push them in as far as possible as I can and then stick them in there. I'm really trying hard not to get rid of any of the glitter on the edges, but it was that simple. And these ornaments already come with the top part. You can use it or cut it off and use a different string if you want, but I like how it looks. Maybe I'll add a little bow to it right here. But again, the same thing with Frosty. We'll just get his top part. Give it a good squeeze. This one's rather bigger than my normal ones that I'm used to working with, so it's a little bit difficult. So again, you just want to put it in as far as you possibly can before you let it go. And there you go. Isn't that cute? I love it, guys. So cute. This is going to be an awesome gift to give away. I have those boxes, too, that I just created in the last video or the previous video to the last one. So I'm going to be selling these at my local uh, store that we have in town. These went really, really well last year. They were like my number one seller was my ornaments. So I'm going to finish up. I'm going to do the same thing with my other ones. These are round, so I'm going to have a little bit more difficult time. But you just want to take your transfer tape and cut into it so then you can put it on here. I do have a few other flat ones like this, but I did do one here already. I started him, but as you can see, there are bubbles here. So a trick for this, for bubbles, if you have bubbling, is take a hair dryer on low, warm, or hot setting. You put it on and you just work your fingers on it and push it out and it works perfectly. I hear people use pins and they put pins in it, but I like to use the hair dryer. Once you get it nice and warm, you can spread it out. I do this on coffee mugs. I do that on wood signs, and it works amazing. You will not see any of the bubbles or the peeling up part here. So I'm going to go ahead and finish all of these. I'll show you what they look like. I'll show you what it looks like when it's finished, and this is all done with the hair dryer and nice and neat. I'll show you what they look like packaged up. Um, I'm really excited, guys. I hope you like this tutorial. Please stick around to the end and hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I'm going to be doing another set of ornaments. I had done these um, light bulb ornaments already with the glitter. And the next part to do this is the friendship paper. So I'm going to show you where to get the friendship paper from, how to cut it out, and how to package these. So this will be my next video. So stick around for that one. Oh my gosh, guys, I absolutely love how these turned out. They were so much fun and so easy to create, and you can customize them any way you want. I will leave the links below to all the supplies I used and the places where I purchased the SVG files. I also have a video showing you how to create the ornament boxes you see behind them. I believe that's a video before this one. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, as I will have many more step-by-step craft tutorials, and please leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Happy crafting everyone!